startups can use. Estonia had launched an e-residency program for entrepreneurs looking to set up global business. The program will help people to virtually launch their companies in the European market. Let's bring on board a very special guest, Urve Palo. He is the Minister of IT and Entrepreneurship from the Republic of Estonia, who joins in to discuss what exactly this means. Thank you so much for taking time out and joining us today on Startup Central on ET Now. Before we get to the details, can you just tell us what exactly the e-residency program is all about and how can one go about applying for it? This is something what we would like to uh, share with the rest of the world to show that uh, the, the E society and uh, uh, the developing E services is something what is really possible and it's really um, uh, going on and it really helps people to, um, uh, to do their everyday work and business. For instance, in Estonia, thanks to the uh, signing all the documents digitally, uh, the society um, uh, uh, saves around 2% of GDP every year. My personally, I don't uh, sign more documents uh, uh, during the year, maybe just uh, Christmas cards in December, this, that's that. So um, this is time consuming, this is convenient, and even uh, or, or have developed, uh, we have in Estonia developed all that, we, people ask more. So uh, we are prov providing uh, the once only principle, that means that if uh, p uh, some authority has been asking uh, from the person some information, then another authority shouldn't ask it more. And those authorities, public authorities, should share the information bet between each other so that uh, we could uh, really uh, mm, develop uh, invisible services like we have done uh, with the tax declaration. So by being an e-resident, uh, entrepreneurs get access to digital infrastructure and access to the EU market. What's in it for the Estonian government? First of all, as Estonia is a small country, uh, we have just 1.3 population. Uh, the size of the country is not so small. Uh, Estonian size compared to the uh, other, con other countries, uh, for instance, Estonia is as big as Netherlands. But just we have less time population. But if we're talking about uh, mm, ICT developments, then there is actually no, no limits and uh, the, the size of the country doesn't matter so much. So, uh, first of all, we are interested in that uh, uh, people could establish a company in Estonia and then to run later on it uh, from Estonia, to have a business uh, in Estonia and, and also in the Europe. And why not go further from Estonia to the Russia, because Estonia is quite close to the Russian border as well. Uh, St. Petersburg market is just 200 kilometers from our border away. And uh, this is something that uh, is, is uh, uh, good also for the Estonian economy, that if we have more uh, companies who are established in Estonia. This is the, the thing. At the, at the beginning, actually, we, we looked more for the just e uh, residences. Today we have more than uh, 30,000 residences already, uh, but uh, uh, now we are talking more that how many companies they have established in Estonia. And uh, today uh, they have established 3,000 new companies in Estonia and they uh, run around uh, 5,000 companies. It means that some of them had companies already, already in Estonia, just now they are already also e-residences because it's really comfortable if you have a, a, a company in Estonia, but you live abroad, you can sign all the important documents without living at home, and it's a big advantage, you have to, don't have to travel. Uh, yes, this is the, the, the main idea uh, behind of the, uh, this um, program. 
And before we let you go, tell us what kind of a response have you got from the initiative so far globally as well as in India? It has been really good. Uh, we established uh, the idea of e-residency uh, 2014. So it's not a long time ago. I remember by myself, I was at that time also the, the, um, the minister who was responsible for IT questions. And uh, the, the gentleman uh, called Tavi Kotka, who was, uh, responsib who was responsible and also the, the um, the person behind of that idea, if he came to my office and and started to explain what kind of ideas he had has, then I said that's that's good idea and let's go with that to the uh, cabinet and uh, discuss it more. So uh, since uh, 2014, uh, the at the beginning it was really small startup. Now it's already huge startup. Uh, and it's growing every every year, every not just every year, every day. We get uh, so many new applicants who want to be uh, residences. Uh, today, um, we have uh, we got residences more uh, more than from the more than one fifty different countries, and also from the India, we have uh, today one thousand two hundred residences. And, but we get applicants every day more, so it's, it's growing quite fast. And people are very, very happy to have this possibility uh, because uh, it really gives a possibility to have a business in uh, Estonia and uh, it makes them life easier. Thank you so much for taking time out and giving us an insight as to what exactly this means and what the uh, entrepreneurs really get access to with respect to this new concept. We appreciate you taking the time out and joining in on ET Now.